Hello Taurus, welcome to your 2019 six month forecast. We are looking into the energies of January through June for you. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. If you would like a personal look into your six months coming up January through June or at any moment when you watch this video and you would like a six month forecast from this moment on, go ahead and email me. I will be able to perform that reading for you. So in this reading, I am going to be pulling some uh, the overall energy for each month using the major arcana of the Dreams of Gaia Tarot here. Now I am going to be using the book a little bit because this uh, this deck is still fairly new to me. But then moving forward, we're going to get some clarification for each month from the Tarot. And this is the Crystal Visions Tarot. Yes? So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for the first six months of, Janu uh, of 2019, January through June. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So let's just get straight into it here. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January through June. We've got January here. We've got the Father. Okay, okay. For February... Healing, excellent. March, intuition, okay. April, April, we've got choice, all right. May, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May. Emotions. Okay, and June. Woo, love. Ooh, all right. Excellent. So, just a quick overview, just looking at what we have here so far. Starting out in January... You could be becoming a father. You could be... Now, the, the father is giving me energies of, like, the emperor here. Um, and the emperor is someone who's very in control of their domain. It's like the king of all kings. You could be really taking some control um, in January. And what I'm getting here is... For some of you, this is like an, uh, a projection, like, year, the year on, you know? You're really looking ahead towards your year and think and making preparations to take some certain action steps towards some I feel like some long-term goals you've had for quite some time moving into February here we do have healing so there could be any sort of healing going on potentially some familial healing between like say a father figure and you carrying over from January into uh, March, we have intuition. Now, this really could be a moment where you're really getting in touch with your intuition. I'm feeling like you could really be getting some downloads from the universe um, about your path, about which way you want to go, about what you want may, may want to be doing in your life. I feel like this really could be a turning point for you, um, either in the direction that you have started on with uh, in January, or maybe a different direction here, because then April, you have choice. And so I feel like um, in March, you could be getting some intuitive insight that could leave you at somewhat of a crossroads. And by the time April comes around, you may have to make a decision or you've made a decision in a to move in a new direction, okay? Followed that by May, you have emotions. So this really could be a strong month of getting in tune with your emotions, getting in touch with your emotions, balancing out. This really could be a purgy month, May being your birth month. Um, it could be a really emotional time. It just could be a celebratory time for you, but I feel like there really could be some serious purging going on 
for you for the month of May. And then finally in June, you have love. This could be a potential partner coming in. This could be love for the self. Um, there really could be a lot of emotional clearing that could have gone on in May. And then in June, you find this sense of self-love. So let's get into all of these individually. We're going to start with January, and I do want to read a little bit of the book in here. So, the father, key, key words, fatherhood, leadership, authority, protection, responsibility, guidance, support, compassion, and control. Okay, definitely uh, emperor type energies, yes. Key phrases, the center of power within the family unit. A time for decisive action. A source of strength, not fear. What did your father teach you? Step up and take charge. Guide, instruct, and inspire confidence. Be interested and supportive, not critical. The buck stops with you. Fulfill your obligations. Allow others their autonomy. Share all tasks and responsibilities. And step out of the Stone Age. Okay, so there's definitely an energy of taking control of your life, taking control of what it is you really want to be doing in your life, the direction you want to go in, following through with this, taking decisive action, yes? Um, you could be standing as the, the, the pillar or the patriarch of the family. You could be the center of your family. You could also be starting a family is something that's really coming through there. Or at least making preparations or taking actions towards starting a family at some point, okay? But like I said, ooh, ooh. All right, well, we've got some flyers here. I'm going to read these upright. Uh, we've got the Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands with the Three of Cups. So... With the Three of Cups, there is a celebratory energy here, and I feel like that's you coming out of the holiday season, the holiday times, um, and stepping into uh, your own power here with the King of Wands. This is decisive action also. This is someone that knows who, who they are and what they want, and they're going after it. With the Two of Pentacles, um, I think this is definitely a time of keeping, maintaining the balance, especially after coming out of the holiday season. There really is something that I feel like you're trying to balance out. Maybe just trying to keep your finances in check after the holidays. Um, but also getting yourself in a balanced state to really move forward with your life. Because I really feel like some, for some of you, there are some serious plans. There are some serious plans that you have. There are like some serious stuff that you want to really accomplish in the coming year. And um, in January, it's looking like you're really going to be taking control and putting that into play, all right? So let's get some clarification here for the Father, please, Spirit, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of January. Okay. All right. So it's looking like the Two of Pentacles is trying to come back out. Yep, there it is. Okay, so that's definitely a solid message for you in January, Taurus. It's keeping the balance, maintaining your finances in check, uh, main, making sure that you're good, that you have everything you want, because you're really going after what it is you're, you desire. This is the Nine of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. It's really you putting things into balance to make sure you achieve your goals. And here with the Hermit here, the Hermit is saying that January might be a little bit of a Hermit-like month for you. But it's really, uh, this is really talking about you getting in touch with what it is you truly want to be doing, okay? You, wow, well, oh, goodness. You have Death, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So... I'm getting there is an end to indecisiveness, okay, uh, between death and the two of swords. Um, there is an end to indecisiveness. There is an end to um, not seeing something clearly, not really putting forth the effort towards something. Um, there is a definitely a major change and transformation here. Uh, it may be something that... You know, if you're watching this before January, it may be something that you're not necessarily aware of. You can't really see yet. But come January, I really feel like the blindfold is going to be taken off um, and you're going to be able to see things clearly. And with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here, there is a potential for um, someone to be approached by a new partner. 
Um, this could be something that you are really wishing for, especially with the Nine of Cups here. Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is rewards. It's autonomy. Yes, and that's what you know, the father was speaking of allowing someone to have their own autonomy. But I really feel like you are standing in your own autonomy and you really have a sense of self-love here. And actually what I'm getting is that sense of self-love with the Ace of Cups may be driving you towards a little bit of a hermit mode because you just want some time to relax, recuperate, and get back into the swing of things so that you're really ready and really prepared and you know how you, or at least a, you have a good idea of how you're going to progress throughout the year. I really feel like there's a focus of year-long progression, year-long projection for you in the month of January. Yeah. But you have a, you definitely have a major transformation that's happening for you in January, and that's definitely influenced by the hermit or the hermit is influencing I'm sorry, or death is influencing this hermit moment. But I really feel like for the most part, the two are working hand in hand with the hermit and death. But And this is you actively taking on the responsibility of making some sort of transformation in your life. That feels really good, Taurus. Excellent. So now, getting into February, we have healing. And I do want to read a little bit about this from the book. So for February for you, Taurus, we have healing, card number 11. Here we go, healing. Keywords, healing, release, purification, forgiveness, transformation, or infection. <laughs> Key phrases, to be human is to be wounded. A time to connect body, mind, spirit, and soul. Let go of definitions and labels. Nurture possessions and seek pleasure. Authenticity, honesty, and laughter. Find the source of disease and distress. You need to forgive. Does what's necessary to in or do what's necessary to increase well-being. Do not dwell on the unchangeable past. Shift your attention. Do not allow your pain to hurt others. Seek treatment. Do not be afraid. Okay. So now you did get death in uh, coming out in the month of January for you. And so there's definitely a, a transformative energy going on between January and February, Taurus. Now, I really feel like the father are, is symbolizing energies in January of that transformation coming into play. And then in February, there's healing energies coming through in the form of assimilation, almost. It's like the transformation The transformation has happened, and now um, in February, you have a chance to allow the pieces to come together and fuse together to form the new whole that is what you're transforming into. All right, so one more shuffle, and then I'm going to get some clarification here for your month of February. All right, Taurus, let's see what we've got for you. For the month of February, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ten of Wands so far. And the Nine of Swords. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Underneath the deck is the Fool. There you go. So you had that transformation, and now you're moving on to a new cycle. Okay? You're starting over. You have... Well, not necessarily starting over, but you're starting something new here. You have the Ten of Wands. Burdens, okay? Um, and for Taurans, burdens aren't such a bad thing. We really, you know, Taurus is really kind of like, almost like the workhorse of the Zodiac. Um, they really can, you know, they can carry a pretty heavy load. Ten of Wands here. But you see the Nine of Wands is here as well. And to me, that's talking about being, feeling like... Um, feeling worst case scenarios surrounding 
releasing some sort of burdens, okay? There is a realization that happens. This, is, this either happens in in February, could or it might happen in February. I feel like I was just going to say January. Um, so I think it's it's going to happen. It could potentially really happen or start to happen in January, and then it carries over. But there is a realization that here, an aha moment that inspires you to move away or to move in a different direction, that inspires you or illuminates burdens that really should you should not have to carry. They're not your burdens to carry, Taurus. And so that's where the Nine of Swords energy comes into play because it's like, okay, well, I don't, this is, for some of you, this is like family, familial things, um, feeling like if you were to release some sort of responsibility, delegate it to someone who was more closely related to the situation or someone who technically really should be responsible for the situation, you might have some worst case scenarios surrounding it. Um, I'm feeling like for some of you, this is a situation in which you were just kind of taking care of it because you knew you would do it, get it done correctly. And then because of that, there would be less of a headache for you because you know it's being done properly. But at the same time, that kind of backfired in the sense that you're stressing yourself out even more in trying to take care of it instead of allowing the person who really truly is responsible for it to care for it themselves, okay? So releasing some of these burdens is probably going to be or is there's probably going to be some anxiety surrounding it. <laughs> and depending on when you're watching this, I feel like some of you already know what these burdens are. Mhm. Mm and I'm not I'm not laughing at you. I'm just saying, yeah, okay. Yeah. I feel it. So yes, I'm I'm acknowledging that. But excellent. But that's excellent, Taurus. Okay, February could really be a very healing month. Very healing month for you. All right. So let's get into March. Here we have we have intuition for March for you. And I'm just going to shuffle this a little bit. And I do want to read. I'm going to read a little bit from the book on this one. Intuition twenty two. All right, here we go. For March, you have intuition. Uh, intuition, uh, keywords, signs, patterns, synchronicity, trust, mystery, magic. Key phrases, intuition is your sixth sense, the voice of your unconscious mind. Heed your intuitive feelings, intuitive skill born of practice. Pick the option that feels right. Strengthen your intuition. Tap into your other senses. Make your best guess. Be both intuitive and rational. Watch and observe. Intuition or bad past experiences. Seek a second opinion. I really feel like some of you are really going to be working with your intuition a lot more come March. And that actually, for some of you, that has a lot to do with the healing that you have experienced. Um, for some of you, the healing that you're going through, the transformation that you're going through, and the new leap of faith that you're taking between January and February is allowing you to get even closer to your intuition. I feel like for some of you, your intuition is what has been guiding you towards this this whole time. And now, by March, you are clear away, or you're in the process of becoming clearer from through uh, releasing the burdens that you've been carrying to hear more and to interact more with your intuitive abilities and to be able to grow in your intuition, okay? Um, I really feel like for some of you, those burdens that you were carrying that, you could, that you're going to be releasing in February are what's keeping you from really listening or hearing the guidance that your intuition gives you. So I really feel like for many of you, March is going to be a very strong intuitive month. Okay? One more shuffle, and then I'm going to get this clarification going for you. All right, Taurus. For March, let's see what intuition has for you. Whoop, okay, we've got one so far. Okay, let's see what this says. Temperance. All right. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. 
Temperance, and uh, underneath the deck you have the Hanged Man. So, the Hanged Man is about being in a precarious position here. Uh, uh, being in some sort of suspended space. But this is in order to gain some sort of enlightenment, in order to see something differently. Uh, the Hanged Man is all about perception, okay? So change your perception, change your perspective, and that way you can change how you approach certain situations. I feel like there could be a little bit of a slowdown, maybe a pause, or maybe a hang-up, some stagnancy happening in March. But this is all in service of getting you to see things clearer or see things from a different perspective. Um, Temperance is also talking about patience, um, but it's talking about alchemy, okay? It's bringing two opposite sides together in order to create a new compound or two opposite energies, two opposite uh, things together to create something new. And this is, I really feel like this is, um, you might be feeling a little bit stuck or stagnant because um, you're integrating some new pieces of yourself, some new awareness, some new um, intuitive abilities that are becoming available to you. So you're probably going to need to do take some time to rest quite a bit. Uh, we are coming up on to the very end of winter here. You know, spring does start at the very end of March, I believe. So, but we're in February right now. But but winter is is starting to come to an end here. So, you might be yeah. There might be a little bit. Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're in March. Um, <coughs> it's gonna be. It's like I, I'm. I'm feeling. I'm hearing a cool down. There's like a last little bit of freeze over before the thaw really comes in. There's going to be a last little slow down before then we get into spring and you'll be able to really thaw out and see things from a different perspective. Now, when it comes to April, you have choice. And this is about making a choice. It's about seeing something clearly. It's about choosing to go in a new direction. Um, and like I was saying earlier, I really feel like intuition in that your intuition coming through in the month of March could leave you at a crossroads. And this could be why you might be feeling a little bit stuck, might, why there might be a little bit of a slowdown, because now you're approaching a crossroads and you could really go in one of two ways in a brand new direction. Let's see what Choice has to say. Choice, options, opportunity, free will, self-determination, mindfulness, manifestation, cause and effect, reward, consequence, and procrastination. Key phrases, choice creates reality. Belief is a choice. Inaction is a choice. The choice is yours. Determine your direction. The past has influence. Choice offers reward or consequence. Weigh your options. Choose wisely. Stop procrastinating. Be responsible for your choices, awareness, and powers. All right? So let's get some clarification here for your month of April. One more shuffle for you. You really could... Yeah, you're definitely going to be faced with a serious choice. For some of you, this could be a choice uh, in partnership, even. Whether you want to go with one person or another, whether you want to stay with that person and or, or just move on, be single, find something new. Could be a choice of commitment, also. Let's see what we've got here for you, Taurus, for the month of April. Please clarify choice, Spirit. Thank you so much. Okay, four swords. Woo! All right. We've got... Hold on a second here. Ah, Ace of Wands right there. All right. Underneath the deck is the Queen of Wands. Okay. 
We've got the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Hermit. So we could be talking about a family situation here. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Unknown, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, you definitely could be um, choosing whether or not you want to make some sort of commitment. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here with the King of Cups. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aries with the Queen of Wands or just either a fire sign or a water sign. It doesn't have to be either of those. It could be another earth sign, mainly even a Virgo here with the Hermit. For some of you, I'm getting that this is a choice uh, made by someone else here. And like up until May, I'm sorry, we're, we're, uh, we're in April. Up until April, now this choice may have made, okay, something may come through in the form, uh, 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 in after, like a choice may have been made and then some, some sort of information, a decision or an offer may come through, like say in May, because I did say that. Um, like a Freudian slip there, but in April, someone surround, uh, someone around you could be dealing with making a choice about you, whether or not they would want to make some sort of commitment to you or approach you. And what I'm seeing is they are in like up until April, they are slowly in the process of making some sort of decision, maybe even making some sort of plans here, but they're doing it in secret. They're doing it in secret, okay? You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Unknown, and the King of Cups. Now, this doesn't have to, this could also be someone that you don't even know. It may not even be someone that you're aware of, but there is a choice that needs to be made on this person's behalf. And should they choose, um, I, I guess we'll say the correct path or make the correct choice, that could lead them to you. There's either for you or for another person, Taurus, um, there is an energy of going within, going within and realizing that someone really does want to have a family, wants to be a part of a family. And with the Ace of Wands here, that would inspire them to make a choice to move in that direction. All right. And there's also an energy, either you, Taurus, or the person, a person you're connecting with, whether you're aware of this person or not, but there is a magnetic energy here with the Queen of Wands. Someone is drawing something in. Someone is manifesting something towards them. They may not really be consciously aware of it because the energy that I'm getting from this Queen of Wands is that um, they're just doing their own thing, loving themselves, loving their lives, and knowing what it is they want and going after it. Quite frankly, you know. But this Queen of Wands is attracting a King of Cups, for sure. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So then next, for the month of May, we have Emotions. So here, already, I'm getting that someone... Three of Cups. Okay, so... The Three of Cups just flipped out here for you, Taurus. Um, and there there could be some sort of reconciliation this uh, in the month of May. Um, someone went through a period of choosing in April, and now come May, they're kind of like, they're ready to make some sort of emotional offer. Um, you may have, you or they, may have really gotten in touch with your emotions, and you're starting to see things from... Um, a more emotional point of view, but I feel like there's still a lot of balance that's being kept. You know what I mean? It's not like they're strictly acting from their emotions, but they're more balanced in their emotions, okay? And so some sort of emotional offer comes through. There's some sort of reconciliation that happens in the month of May. Let's see what this card officially says here. It's gonna, let's get some key words, some key phrases for you. Just a second here, guys. This is a big book. Oops, now see I passed it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Emotions. Keywords. Feelings. Emotional. 
Honesty, positive emotions, negative emotions, acknowledgement, acceptance, expression. All emotions are necessary. These are the key phrases. All emotions are necessary. How are, you, how are your feelings influencing you? Use your feelings to evaluate a situation. Heed the message behind the feeling. Are you a negative or positive person? Do not prejudge the present, the present, do not prejudge the present based on the past. Practice acknowledging your feelings. Fill your day with laughter. Step back and detach emotionally. Positive emotions open you to learning. Representing, oh, I'm sorry, repressing emotions creates disease. Address symptoms of emotional repression. So there's definitely, 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 I really feel like, especially because the Three of Cups did come out, there could be some sort of reconciliation coming for you in the month of May, Taurus, <laughs> potentially right around, right around time for your birthday, yeah, because May is your birthday month, uh, depending on where, whether you resonate more with Western or Eastern astrology, you know, that, that those are specifics are there, but generally, April, May time is Taurus season, right? So it could be right in, in time for your birthday. But I feel like if there is some sort of reconciliation that happens, you're really going to need to um, look at it from a fresh point of view and not get caught up in the past, yes? So let's get some clarification here for you. Now, this doesn't just have to be a reconciliation. This could just be you finally meet this person that you are um, energetically aligning with if you don't really know this person, if this, if this is someone brand new coming into your life. Um, and it really could be a pretty serendipitous situation in which you meet this person and in, immediately they flare your emotions like you feel a connection with them. All right, so let's get one more shuffle here. Here we go. All right, Spirit. Uh, please clarify emotions for the month of May for Taurus, please. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. All right. So we've got the star here. There's some sort of wish fulfillment that's happening, and I really feel like even if this is not potentially a romantic partner, there could be a reconciliation um, with, uh, and a reconciliation that kind of creates some sort of healing. This could be closure for you guys, like if there has been some sort of ongoing drama, we'll say, um, ongoing trouble or strife between you and other people or maybe just one other person. There really could be um, it's some emotional reconciliation. There could be some sort of coming together and healing from the past. Underneath the deck, you've got the Queen of Cups here. So this is definitely an emotional maturity situation. Um, I'm just getting emotional cleansing from the Queen of Cups here. We've got the Ace of Cups. The Ten of Wands in reverse, the Hermit again, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Definitely, definitely some reconciliatory energy here. We have burdens and um, rough, challenging times being released here. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Um, you could be... You could be dealing with a Virgo, the Hermit. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius with the star, or you could be dealing with a cancer, uh, specifically with the Queen of Cups, or maybe just another water sign. Um, but here we go, we have the Ace of Cups. So there really could be a love offer coming in for you in the month of May. <laughs> right in time for your birthday, Taurus. Um, but also, if this is not a romantic situation in which a romantic partner is coming in to make you some sort of offer, this is potentially some sort of reconciliation or some sort of conversation or healing that happens that allows you to accept and integrate more self-love, okay? And that feels great. That's really excellent. That is really, really excellent, Taurus. That's, that's pretty awesome. So then, all right, getting into June now, we have love. So this situation in which you could be meeting someone new or reconciling with an, a previous partner could then really turn into 
a deeper sense of love. If this was an old relationship that came back, we've got the Eight of Cups in reverse that just flew out. Um, and that, to me, is coming back, okay? And, and also, it's talking about... Well, first, it's talking about, I feel like if this was an old relationship, this part, this person never really actually fully walked away from the situation. They may have said they did. They may have taken actions to make it look like they did, but I really don't feel like they actually did. Ooh, sorry. Also, if this is an old relationship that is now being rekindled, there is an energy of this potentially becoming something more than it ever was in the past. Because I really feel like you guys have really grown a lot in some sort of separation period that you may have gone through, okay? I'm hearing reconciliatory gifts, reconciliatory energies. Let's get in. I do want to read this a little bit. Card number 12. Love. Keywords. Love. Infatuation. Love for self. Confidence. Love for life and expansion. Experience love in all its forms. Love is multifaceted. Your love will shape you or break you. A past love re-enters your life. Look at that. A love that deserves a second chance. Is this love or infatuation? How do you feel about yourself? Honor your body as a temple. Stop making comparisons. Make time to love and nurture yourself. Love and enjoy your uniqueness. Do, do what makes your heart sing. Open your heart to new loves. So now, even if you don't have a, a, a previous, an old partner coming back, um, you could be reconciling with this partner. You could be having healing words. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles here. Um, I'm gonna get an official. Ooh, wait. I'm gonna get official flyers or uh, um, yeah, these are just flyers. <laughs> I'm gonna get official clarification here. But yeah, what I was saying is there is a change in the situation. I really feel like if uh, you could be uh, just reconciling with some people that may have left you feeling out left out in the cold in the past, or the way the situation progressed, you felt left out in the cold. But I'm feeling like somehow there's going to be some sort of catalyst for some of you in which you have a, you find a greater sense of self-love which did come out in the previous month of uh, may with emotion in the ace of cups right all right so let's see let's get some clarification here i'm going to shuffle one more time excellent and now let's just get some clarification here, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ten of Cups is the first card that pops out. Wow. Ace of Cups again. Woo. All right. The Ace of Cups popped out in reverse this time. Ah, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and that's why. Cause Okay, here we have the Wheel of Fortune again. Uh, underneath the deck, you have the Eight of Wands. So, reconciliation, again, communication. It could be that this communication comes in in the month of May. Wow, look at all of this reversal. Give me a second here. I just want to... Interesting. It's strange because I'm reading these, all of these cards came out in the reverse here. And I'm reading them and... It's like, it's like... It's as if all of this stuff here is in the past. Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, Death, Eight of Swords, and Ace of Cups. All of this is in reverse. And I feel, and, and then I look here and I we have the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So when I combine all of this, I really feel like all of this stuff here is stuff from the past, especially if you're reconciling with someone. Um, this could, you could be reconciling with another earth sign. Um, Virgo did come up twice in both, it came up for uh, May and April, I believe. 
um, for you Taurus, but you could be dealing with another Taurus or a Capricorn or a Virgo with the King of Pentacles. But what I'm getting with the King of Pentacles um, is that this was a this person was probably either you or this other person was probably really egotistical, very um, materially oriented, very much focused on their finances, all about their money, um, but to, to a negative extent. Um, and with the Nine of Cups in reverse, this could be this could have been a past wish. Like you really could have probably wished you could have been with this person. And it was very. It was it was almost like imprisoning, entrapping. There was some sort of entrapment here. You might have felt really super tied to this person, like you could never let go, you could never get away from them. But then that finally ended with death. And what you learned throughout the process was to love yourself with the Ace of Cups. All of this being in reverse is saying to me that this was all in the past. And this is all, this is like what has transpired in the past that has gotten you to this place of self-love here. Okay, for the month of June. And what you have as a result, because you are in this place of self-love, you have a change in fortune. The, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. Now, both of these came out upright. So it's like you're. It, by the time you get to June, you are, you have either manifested this completely, or you're really in the process of getting there. It's like the 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 pathway is open for you to receive to the Ten of Cups in some way. All right, Taurus. So ultimately, that's looking really great. The first six months of 2019 are looking fantastic for you. Um, I would hope this was helpful for you. I hope this resonated. If you would like a look personally into your life coming up for the first half of the year, January through June, or at any moment when you discover this video and you would like a six-month forecast, go ahead and send me an email. They are available. Yes? I hope you guys have a great 2019, and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.